previously on Hoop Dreams. Miles feels slighted by the media overlooking him, so he decides to amp up his training. In a blowout win versus Michigan State, Miles will lead the team in scoring with 34 points and 8 rebounds, which would then raise his draft stock to the early second round. Not feeling any love at home by his father, Miles decides to attend a house party thrown by the team. But after drinking a bit too much and getting behind the wheel, Miles would find himself sitting in the county jail. We are 15,000 subscribers away from our 100k goal, so don't forget to smack that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. After getting off the phone with Pops, I realized he definitely wasn't coming to get me. I mean, I could have called my mom's, but I already knew she wasn't going to have the money to post bail, and she certainly doesn't need any more stress on her plate. So that left me with one option. Y'all remember Cash? Well, I gave him a call and he promised to have me out in a couple hours. I don't know what strings he pulled, but he ensured that everything will stay under wraps and my arrest won't make the ESPN headlines. Now I'm concerned because I know Cash will want some type of repayment for this favor, but I don't know what it is, but hey, as long as I'm out of here, shit, I'm straight. Well, Cash was definitely a man of his word. After spending a few hours in the county, I was released and back at the house. My pops finally stepped aside and took some time and had a real conversation with me. I mean, honestly, that's all I've been wanting from him this whole time, but I guess I had to go to jail to get it. Unfortunately, though, my problems are just beginning. beginning of this series, I promise y'all to always keep it real. Well, hell, I think I kept shit too real this time. See, I was right about Cash expecting a favor in return, but I wasn't anticipating this. This man really gave me three whole bricks to get off like I'm fucking Big Meat or something. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have no idea what to do. So do me a favor and comment down below. What's my next best move? See, I've been hiding him in his doghouse to, you know, keep him away from my pops, but... His nosy ass will probably be back here pretty soon. Now, not only do I have to figure out a way to get rid of all this work without getting busted, I also have to go talk to my head coach about the DUI situation. I'm already knowing he's going to be pissed, so I'm expecting a one or two game suspension. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. It seems like since I've come to L.A., my whole damn life has been going downhill. A part of me honestly wishes I would have just stayed in Jersey. Well, I mean, I guess not everything's been bad. I was able to convince the girl from the party to give me another chance, and I finally found out her name. So after I leave the coach's office, I'm going to be taking her big head ass on a date. But shit, I'm broke as hell, so I hope she ain't expecting much. Miles, you know we think the world of you here, but what you did was not only irresponsible, it was also a spit in the face to your brothers on the team. Now you're lucky that the media didn't find out about this. For the next two games, your ass will be on the bench for the entire first half. No exceptions. Hmm. Honestly, not as bad as I was expecting, but I'm still pissed I gotta sit the first half of two games. Well, anyways, I'm finna get ready for this date. I'll see y'all later.
Yes, Sersky! PFG family, man, we are finally back with another dope-ass video. Like always, go ahead and smack that subscribe button, and don't forget to like the video on the way in. Man, we are finally back, man. I was so excited to be dropping another dope video. I'm going crazy all March, man, I promise. Also, shout out to you guys, man. Thank you so much for holding down the channel. Shout out to the ad squad, and shout out to my boy Zavi that provides all them dope beats. The link to his channel is in the video description. But starting off early... Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and have a moment of silence for that beautiful form. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a heads up, man. This game was an absolute blowout. It was just a, listen, it was a blowout, man. But right here, I go ahead and look down to my big man. You know, you got to get everybody involved as a true point guard. He shoots the ugly fadeaway, but hey, <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with us. We get the assist. But I need y'all to be honest with me. Is this play right here an assist? I pass the ball to Buddy as he's crossing half court, and they still give me an assist. Now, of course, I'm not complaining, man, but I don't think that's an assist. But I think he kind of did that on his own. But right here, man quick isolation you gotta know your personnel and i'm already knowing buddy can't hold me so i hit it with the quick whoop de whoop de and that's three ball man give me my points bro now y'all we got a lot to think about off the court but we also have a lot to think about on the court man this is our freshman year but honestly i think we can you know, i think we can go to the league right there now man you know if i don't say so myself so y'all man should we go to the league like should we enter the draft or should we stay another year and i don't know what the hell that last play was so don't even and ask y'all see <laughs> y'all see how i just kept talking past it man and i missed the wide open jumper you know players mess up too but man should we go to the league should we stay another year should we stay all four years man what should we do and one man i'm too big for these boys and i'm flexing on them looking them dead in his eye like do something come on man now everybody's been telling me i need to focus on my court vision they telling me if i'm gonna be a true point guard at the next level i need to get more assists so that's exactly what i've been focusing on man i'll find my boy wide open on the left hand side for three now i love that you guys told me to go ahead and turn on the coaching gameplay that way the coach calls the plays for me because it actually set up a lot of open shots like right there that should have been a catch and shoot but the defense recovered but no worries man hand down man down green release man green release stop playing with me bruh now this play right here was nothing more than being at the right place at the right time. He dropped to pass the ball and I just so happened to step into the passing lane. But hey man, that's skill bro. I'm taking all the credit for that. But this was my last play of the first half because of this shot right here. Coach was not having it and put my ass straight on the bench, man. But it's all good. We going into halftime, 12 points, three assists, three rebounds, and a huge lead, bro. Now coming out of halftime, coming up the court in transition, I'm able to get the nice one-handed dunk. Now I was reading a lot of you guys' comments, man, and for the most part, everybody was saying, just be patient, man, just chill. We don't need, you know, the, the top of the line dunks just yet, because y'all gotta remember, man, this is this is gonna be a whole career. Like, just be patient, man. We only won our third, fourth game in college, bruh. So the dunk packages, all the nice handles, all that stuff is gonna come. And also I've been kind of thinking, man, maybe we should switch positions. I mean, I really wanted to make like a small forward. You know, that may be a little bit unrealistic because we only 6'3", but what about a shooting guard? Maybe we grow a couple inches over the summer, man. I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But I get the steal right here. I've actually been getting quite a few steals off the dribble. Normally, it's only, you know, in the passing lane, but I was able to get the steal and convert for three, man. Now, a key part in basketball, man, is moving without the ball. As you can see, that play was not actually even set up for me. That was actually an isolation play from my shooting guard. But, you know, I moved without the ball, found a wide open green bean. Super easy, man. At this point, it is a complete blowout. These boys, it's halfway through the second half, and these boys don't even got over 20 points. Like, come on, bro. It's 48 to 13 at this point, man. But look, man, I play in the passing lanes and I pick up the easy steal. You know, it's, it's it's too easy. I'm hoping it gets harder at the next level. I find my boy with the ugly layup. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. You ain't even have to take a dribble. You could have put a little bit of sauce on it. So since he didn't put no sauce on it, I will. I come down the lane with a two-hammer, two-handed slammer jammer. My nigga, <laughs> my nigga did a two-handed slammer jammer, bro. Now that we got the game locked away for sure, man, I tried to get the A-plus teammate great, man. Since I've owned this game, I have not got an A-plus yet, man. I don't know what's going on, but it's all good. We finished with the A. 
29.7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals. But go ahead and take a look at it, man. Take a look at it. We are now top three, bro. Our draft stock has risen and everybody got their eye on us, man. So y'all let me know what we should do. Should we actually enter the draft? Should we stay another year? Should we stay four years? Or... Should we even go to the G League? I'm telling you, when you're watching PFG, any and everything is possible, man. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I'm going crazy, man, all month. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm on to the next one.